Hey, YouTube, how's it going? Once again, Gabriel here with Triton Multimedia making another Switcher Studio video. This video is aimed more at churches. Reason why? They use Pro Presenter 6, Pro Presenter 7, Pro Presenter. And the reason why I'm making this video is because people have been asking, how do I grab my lyrics from Pro Presenter and put them in Switcher Studio? And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. That's the whole point, the whole reason for this video. Okay, so I've got my MacBook Pro here, and you can use an iMac or any other Apple product. I'm almost, I, I think you can also use PC. I'm not sure, but I know it works very well with Mac. I'm going here, and I'm going to download an application. It's called Switcher Studio. Okay, but the application is not labeled Switcher Studio on your Mac. It's going to be labeled Switcher Cast. Okay, and once you've downloaded Switcher Cast, it's going to have the Switcher Studio logo on there with a little clicker and all that good stuff. You're going to open it and you're going to see what I'm seeing right here. Okay, you see this box right here? I'm going to do away with the, the App Store. It says Display One Ready. Display 2, ready. FaceTime HD camera, ready. So we're going to click on Pro Presenter, and we're not going to erase this box. We're just going to send it to the back, okay? Now that we've sent it to the back, when we go to our cameras, we've got three new displays. We've got Display 1 on Gabriel's MacBook Pro, Display 2 on Gabriel's MacBook Pro, and Display 3 on Gabriel's MacBook Pro. The first display is going to show you what I view on my desktop. You're going to be able to see me move around. If I want to move this around, I can move it around. If I don't want to move it around, I don't have to move it around. The second one is going to be my projector, or in my case, my TV, what I see. That's what people see at the church when they're singing, clapping, and dancing, and all that good stuff. And the third visual that I have is the camera on my MacBook Pro, the webcam that's built in. We have three different views, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to unclick display one and unclick display two, which leaves us with the only display what my TV views or your projector views. It depends on how big your house of worship is or whatever. Long story short, that's where I'm at, okay? Then we're going to go and we're going to click on this little plus sign right here and we're going to go to multi views. Okay? Multi views is it says one that says dashboard, that's two different images, grid, that's four different images, split screen, it basically just splits them from one corner to the next, a flap, slots, picture in picture. Okay? And what that does is that gives you the opportunity when you click right now we're looking on the left we're looking at a camera you click on that camera and you empty it you're going to do the picture in picture you're going to do the side by side and the first one you click on is the main picture and the second one you click on that's going to be what the screen is looking at so when you preview the live that's what people are seeing so like, for example, if I grab one of the songs that, that, they, that the worship team sang on Sunday, that's what people are viewing. You go to the next lyrics, it changes. You go to the next lyric, it changes. You go to the next lyric, and people see it. You go back to your logo. See, and the beauty is that if you go back and you, I'm going to show you here. I'm going I'm to try to show you here what I'm looking at. What you have the system right here. So if you're going to click the picture in picture, it's going to preview to the left. The second camera that you click is what's on the right, which is normally that. When you unclick it, you go back to your regular view. When you click it, it takes you to double. And then when you click the picture that's on the left, it takes you to zero. So for those of you that want to go Next level, I have A, B, C, and D. So I have me, I have the worship team, 
I have uh, what's on the projector, and I have a, a fourth image. That's what people will see. Now, why is this important? Because people are still looking at your lyrics, no matter what cameras you have on. People are still looking at your lyrics. So when it's sermon time, they can still see it. When it's worship time, they can still see it. Now, it is a little bit, it is a little more uh, pushing buttons and this and that. So it's going to take some getting used to. But see, this one has the yellow ring. When I take it off, the yellow ring take comes off. Let me show you. When you click it, it's the yellow ring. When you unclick it, it removes the yellow ring. It also gives you slots. Let me show you how that works. People see that, which is really cool. It's really cool because people nowadays are watching everything online. And let me tell you, when you're trying to hold someone's attention online, you want to be able to give them as many views as possible. Different. You don't want them like, like there are houses of worship that only have one camera on a tripod. That's great. Everybody gets to watch. But what do people do? They look and they get bored and they turn it off. When you give them different angles to watch, people tune in and the odds of you holding their attention span are a lot greater. The last one that I have here, which is not the last one that, that Switcher has, but this is pretty cool. Uh, is this view right here. So you still see me, but now you've got the worship team is singing. It's a small little box on the side, but I'm still the main picture here. I'm still the main attraction. You want to go to the sermon, starts preaching, boom. So if you're doing it and they're doing a Bible study, you run it all from the, from the tablet. You don't need much. All you need is your MacBook Pro and your iPad. You don't even need the screen that's up there. If your church does not have a screen in the background, but you have Pro Presenter or access to Pro Presenter, or even if you have, uh, I can't remember the name of the app that's like Pro Presenter, but it's in uh, Apple carries it. The kids use it at school. It's not iMovie. But there's another app that comes included that you can substitute Pro Presenter with, and it'll virtually just do the exact same thing. Keynote. If you've got keynote and you want to make your sermons a little more interesting or your services a little more interesting with lyrics, it'll work. You hit up switcher, and when you open keynote, it'll display as a third monitor, and you'll have the same thing without dropping the hundreds that you drop on Pro Presenter. Again, I don't use keynote. I used it once or twice. Then we got Pro Presenter because of the ease of use, and it also plugs in with song select, so it's very easy to get the lyrics up and going. But this is my video on how you plug in Pro Presenter to Switcher Studio easy, simple. Once again, thank you for watching the video. Give me a follow. Hit the little bell so you're the first one that watches the video when it comes out. Thank you, and till next time.